Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use two-dimensional array in Turbo C++. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use two-dimensional array in Turbo C++. In order to achieve this task, we should open Turbo C++. If you want to download Turbo C++, visit to my blog www.carthic.blogspot.in where you can able to find Turbo C++ for Windows 7 and Windows 8 in full screen mode. And before starting this session, this is my duty to explain what is an array. An array is a collection of identical data type stored in a continuous memory location under a common name or using a single name. Once again, I repeat the definition for an array. An array is a collection of identical data types stored in a continuous memory location under a common name or a single name. So there are two types of array. One is a one-dimensional array, other one is two-dimensional array. Now I'm going to work out an example for two-dimensional array using Turbo C++. I'm going to open Turbo C++ which is already installed on my PC. So just wait, it will take a few minutes to open. So go to file and new. Okay, so now all you should know all C++ program starts with the preprocessor ash followed by the keyboard in clear and followed by the editor IO stream dot h where IO stands for input and output dot h stands for header file and I'm going to use one more header file ash include ash include con IO dot h and then followed by the main method void main So now I am going to use a method called a CLR SCR in order to clear the previous output or used to clear the screen. Clear the screen. And then I am going to declare an array of type integer. The name of the array is A. Let us say the size is going to be 3 and 3 rows and columns three rows and three columns so how many values I can able to store right here so here three into three nine values I can able to store so how many values I can able to store nine values so integer is a type of the array and a is the name of the array and size is three rows and three columns so how many values we can able to store three into three nine values so if you are using two dimensional array you want to use two for loop so I'm going for first loop for loop for integer i equal to 0 y i equal to 0 because the array index always starts with 0 so I want to use 0 so in case of for loop the first the first criteria is initialization that is integer i equal to 0 followed by condition i less than 3 uh, I less than 3 and followed by the increment I plus plus and inside the for loop I'm going to use one more for loop let us say for integer j equal to 0 and j uh, j less than 3 J plus plus. So here I'm going to store and display the value A of I comma J equal to one plus I into J. And I'm going to display the value C out. A of I comma A of J 
that is and then I'm going to leave some space okay so see out and then after the second for loop I'm going for a new line see out and dollar so last I'm going to use a method called get ch in order to hold the output screen until or unless user key in any value so go to compile and compile the program where you can able to find zero warnings and zero error and then run the program so where you can able to see the values uh, one 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 two three one three five so how many values nine values you can able to store so this is an example for two dimensional array once again I explain the program so all C++ program starts with the preprocessor hash followed by the keyword include and I was stream dot H where I was stands for input and output and followed by dot H as an header file and next one is then I'm going to use one more header file as in clear cone I dot H because the method CLR is CR and the method get CH those definitions are included in the header file con dot H and then I'm going to use the method CLR is CR which is used to clear the screen and next I'm going for the array declaration integer a of 3 comma 3 or a of 3 and 3 which means 3 rows and 3 columns so if you are using 2 dimensional array you are in need of 2 loops so first I am going to use the for loop for integer i equal to 0 i less than 3 so how many times it will execute 0 1 and 2 so 3 times it will execute starting from 0 1 2 and then I am going for one more for loop integer j equal to 0 j less than 3 j plus plus and I'm going to store a of i comma j that is 0 so which will be incremented so this uh, first row and column will be incremented and uh, I'm going to store some values and I'm going to display it now let me check how the compiler is going to read this program so the first line read by the compiler will be the void main ja just have a look on it and then it reads the method CL or SCR now it enters the for loop so it enters the second for loop so now a of i and j both are zero so c and next it will execute so based how many times it will execute three times and it leaves the second for loop and again the i will be incremented to one now again the second for loop will execute for three times zero one two so after finishing the second for loop again the first for loop will get incremented so now the i value is 2 again 2 of 0 2 of 1 and 2 of 2 so again it leaves so now it will check so the condition fails it will go for the output screen so where you can able to see the output screen so this is how compiler reads a program i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you